Welcome to the welcome to the Edgar Allan Poe tour here. It starts out here in Richmond, and this is where uh, Edgar Allan Poe grew up here in this home after he uh, lost his mother and his sister. Near the spots to the home of John Allen, where once lived Edgar Allan Poe. This is in Richmond, Virginia, just in the downtown district. The house is no longer there. And this is the tomb here of Edgar Allan Poe's beloved mother here, Elizabeth Arnold Poe. And um, she was tried to raise him, and then she was an actress and died herself. So, she, uh, and the um, Allens took over the raising of Edgar, young Edgar. Bust of Edgar at the Poe Museum here. Tombstone here of Edgar Allan Poe's stepfather here, John Allen, which is uh, in a cemetery here uh, in Richmond. Edgar's fondest memories are here of uh, Louisa Allen here, uh, John Allen's wife. She supposedly really had a heart for young Edgar and had tried to help him out a lot. Supposedly the father here was, uh, his stepfather was really um, uh, demanding, etc. From here we go to Baltimore here. This is the original place where Edgar Allan Poe was buried here, the original tombstone burial spot here by the Episcopal Church there in downtown Baltimore. The place where Poe was buried, uh, the boy was reburied here, here, along with members of his family, uh, Mrs. Clem and his Edgar's beloved wife. Here's uh, Virginia Clem Poe, his um, step, I mean his uh, aunt. Another one of uh, Poe's relatives here. Pope married his first cousin, and this is the grave of his cousin, Virginia Klempo, who died in Fordham, New York, but later the body was moved here. The Poe house here in Baltimore. You know, it's really small, uh, very cramped living. Some of the artifacts inside the Poe house here, just a picture of Edgar famous picture of him without his uh, mustache. More famous picture of him there with the mustache. Some people say he was uh, alcoholic and possibly hooked on opium and maybe some of his uh, uh, descriptions were of opium dreams but you know could be maybe maybe not. Sorry I don't know who this is but a relative of Post. Wait a minute I believe that's his sister. A grandma Post sister. There's Virginia Clem, his wife, Poe's young bride, his first cousin, who became the, you know, probably the subject of like Annabelle Lee, you know, and some of the other more tragic uh, figures. He was always seemed to be fascinated with the death of a young woman. Considered it prime uh, artistic um, value. Poe's aunt there, Clem, Mrs. Clem, who he lived with. And uh, Virginia was her, her daughter, so he married his cousin. Now this picture is of uh, Virginia, supposedly shortly before she died. And like I said, these pictures are all in the uh, Poe House there in Baltimore. Another picture here of Virginia at the Poe House. Now we're moving to the uh, area of Poe's death. There, you read this here. And supposedly there were some things going on. There was. Uh, they could, some people say it was a murder, uh, some people say it was an accident, they're really not sure. But it, was, it did occur on an election day. And there was drinking involved. There's, there's been a number of books written about this, I wouldn't even want to speculate on it.